hey what's up um yo what's up what's going on all right <clears throat> all right what's up guys um this feels uh this feels intimate after just uh shitting all over hillary shanks for doing a board setup video i'm gonna now take a video of me setting up a skateboard um but i'm just doing this so I can do it while I talk about some other stuff. First things first, um, I just want to fill you guys in. Um, I know I talked a little bit about, oh yeah, new microphone, by the way, wireless mic. So I'm trying to John Hill myself a little bit. You feel me? I'm trying to switch up the vlog game. I got the, <laughs> I got the tripod. I have a wireless microphone. I'm ready to fucking head out to the local skate park and terrorize. Jesus, it would be just so glorious if I nailed, um, if I nailed this grip right now. Um, this is Pepper, by the way. Pepper's relatively new. It felt like five different grip tape companies like cropped up at the same time. Pepper is the brand that Sci-Fi uses, I suppose. Um, if you order a Sci-Fi board, this is the grip that you get. <sighs> it's good. It's perforated. Um, anybody wanting a quick Pepper review? It's like. It's pretty gritty. I think it's slightly less gritty than mod mob. I liked skating Jessup, but the bubble, the grip bubbles are just awful. So, um, yeah, if Pepper's an option for you, I wouldn't say no. Um, I feel so dumb like reviewing grip tape. This is why I kind of hate doing this kind of stuff because I feel like people have genuine questions about these sorts of things, but then at the same time, I feel like I'm grasping at straws for things to discuss, you know, like, oh, here's my, uh, here's my opinion on, on fucking, uh, pepper grip. It's like one step removed from reviewing hardware. Skateboard, dude, I act, this is absolutely flawless. This is how my mind works every time I'm like, you fucking, these Twitter people that question me, let's see you guys. Even though, actually, some people on Twitter were saying that I was hot, which was <laughs> kind of sick. You're definitely not supposed to say that on Twitter. Uh, I got the Jerry Sue board, you can see. Jerry says that he kind of just, like, randomly assigns the graphics somewhat, but I think that this is pertaining to, uh... Because Jerry, Jerry's a male photographer. You know what they say about those male photographers. They're like, okay, well, now you take your top off, right? Well, I know Jerry's got hella topless photos of ladies um in a uh in a locked folder somewhere on his hard drive i've been thinking about this for a while but i'm like dude how hard can it possibly be to crook nollie flip nobody has talked more shit than i have on the crook nollie flip i've done this before with with front side crooked grind i am general generally kind of anti intellectualizing skateboarding you know too much i know that sounds kind of ironic from me but especially from you know a position of learning i think adults that get into skateboarding they want to watch a lot of youtube and they want things explained to them um, because they think that they can use their adult mind instead of their body to kind of like you know figure things out like i make fun of gato time and stuff for talking about Propio. First thing you need to look up or understand is proprioception. Iridocyclitis. Vast majority of the time, I think that there are maybe one or two verbal sort of tips or tricks that can help you with stuff. Like I really struggled with, with slappy grinds, for example. And maybe there is a piece of information that somebody can help you with. Like it seems impossible, but you really just got to ride at the curb and trust yourself. If you can find a lower curb, kind of do that first. And maybe one with a little bit more relaxed of a bank and then, and then work your way up. Um, but outside of that, I think skateboarding is like, it's very much a physical thing. You know, if you divide your time half philosophizing about how to improve on a skateboard and half actually skateboarding itself, you know, you're going to lose to an equally physically capable person who's spending 100% of their time just skateboarding, you know. Basically, where I'm going with this, I did have like kind of a, a method for my front side crooked grinds and I have a video on Patreon. I do them infrequently because like I said, I think most tricks you can kind of just learn. Other tricks, there is kind of, there is kind of like a method to um, some sort of skate hacks that I think can be helpful. And with front crooks, what I did is, because the trick is all about 
commitment. I am so fucking rambling. This is crazy. I need to go inside and meditate soon. Um, because front crooks are all about commitment, I put the box that I have into a patch of grass, and that allowed me to not be scared of falling forward. And, you know, front crook is a trick that people did not know how to do. Like, most tricks have been done already and have been commonplace in skateboarding, but not front crooks. Like, front crooks are a relatively new phenomenon. Sure, maybe some people, you know, were able to do, like, the frontside version of a backside crooked grind where you're, like, gr you know, kind of just in there. But, like, a pinched Jamie Foy, Funa, Nakayama style frontside crooked grind, that's... In the grand scheme of skateboarding, like, that's something that has only, you know, recently become possible by most. I think that was, like, a mysterious trick because the degree of commitment is very different um, than other tricks. So I put I put the box in front of my yard to, like, kill the commitment thing. And then, um, and then yeah. Um, and then I learned it. And I think that a lot of people probably could learn how to front crooked grind. They just need to get their foot in the door and they need to get that first, you know, like this in the same way that I did. I really wanted to learn the trick and seeing so many other people learn it kind of gave me um, the courage to figure out a way. I don't know what the term is. Iridocyclitis. But, you know, for the first guy that ran like a sub four minute mile or whatever they thought it was impossible then one guy did it then a bunch of other people are doing it that's kind of what i think is going on with with crook nollie flip i'm like dude this fucking gustavo guy i don't have a lot of motivation to learn new skateboarding tricks honestly most of the time i just like go to the skate park and and roll around and i'm like all right i'm just gonna fucking do a bunch of tricks i know how to do and then maybe one person will ask for a selfie and then i will leave <laughs> My motivation to crook nolly flip, I'm like, it's one thing to just talk shit on this trick and shame it. I'm trying to debunk the crook nolly flip. That is my my goal here. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to start off by doing it stationary, like Jamie Griffin style. I'll put the box in, in, in the backyard probably, and I'll just focus on popping out of the crook. Because I've got a decent nolly flip. I know how to crook. I'm not like a crooking genius or anything. I have pretty bad pop in general. But I think that this trick, I think this is a trick that people just see and they go, oh my God, like that's, that's incredible to, to flip out of that. But I'm like, you know, mechanically, I don't think that there's anything super complex going on there, you know, because the crook itself is like one of the easiest, most reliable grind tricks that, that a person could do. A 5-0 kick flip out seems to make less sense physically because if you're going forward and you're in crook, and you kind of just give it a little kick back, like it, there will be a nice pacing to that trick that'll really make the move work. There's nothing wrong with the trick objectively. It's just kind of the way that it's been treated by society. I hate the way society looks upon the, the crook nollie flip and fetishizes this trick. It's, um, it's a bunch of poppycock, if you ask me. Pretty damn basic looking. Doesn't get a lot more straightforward than that, does it, monster? <sighs> Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Did you not have your dinner yet? You do not have dinner yet, man? No dinner yet, brother? Oh yeah, some some of you guys are probably gonna be... Dude, there's a lot of activity going on right now. Some of you guys are probably not gonna be too happy with me for setting up a new board. Um, this thing is more decrepit than it may appear, though, because I did something naughty which Paul Schmidt, if you watch his Nine Club, he will tell you, I left it in the back of my car for like a week, and then after that it metamorphosized into a loaf of bread. There is no pop to that thing. Um, so while I was, I was excavating the fucking box <laughs> from the side yard here, and dude, this, these types of videos, it's like, you're, you should be filming every process and every part of what you do. It's just going to, like, because this is a funny thing that I'm doing. But, like, there's very few things that are more humiliating than setting up a camera and then completing a task. I don't think I could feel any whacker, like, doing this. Going, okay, guys, so... And then I'm going to... Like, this is so depressing. I don't know how John Hill does this. If I were John Hill, he seems neurotypical. I'd fucking become 
an accountant or something, dude. Look at this disgusting thing. There's probably millions of arachnids <laughs> living a prosperous fucking life underneath here. So, um, if this crook nollie flip doesn't kill me, a uh, brown recluse probably will. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be my setup right here. Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, I think it's definitely salvageable. Just a little bit of wax and uh, and a rag. Just dust off the top of it. It'll, it'll be grinding. But first, we got to see how my, my, my stall flip out is. I'm thinking I might need to tighten my, my front truck a bit which I don't want to do because I'm one of those people that gets kind of precious about preserving the sanctity of them, you know? <laughs> Dude, fucking Jamie Griff vibes back here. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Okay. Nothing like setting up a brand new board, fresh grip, and then just watching crap pile onto it. Yeah, this thing is filthy already. Luckily, I'm sponsored as hell. Is this whole thing going to be an embarrassing failure? I'm not half the man Gustavo is, I guess. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. That Bra <laughs> not even Brazilian. He's not even a real Brazilian. He's Portuguese. What a joke. Oh, my dude. <laughs> Just imagine I'm at X Games in Ventura and there's a bunch of Cali babes. And it's me versus Yuto versus Nija. An awesome love triangle. Oh. I actually think I can do this. I thought, I was pretty sure skateboarding is much harder than it looks on my computer screen, but maybe not. I mean, dude, that is, like, if I can get a lock-in like that... Dude, Gabe on Frog can do this trick. I don't think anybody pays him to skateboard. I didn't review any any footage of other skaters. I think that's going to be, like, a, a last resort. Which got me... I think if I do this, I might be the first person ever to do a crook nollie flip in last resorts. Oh my god. This is the power of proprio proprioception at work. Right here. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. It didn't happen fast, but it did happen. So we've confirmed that I am capable of flicking out of this biznatch. Oops. Did a true grind flip out. That's NBD. God, you know, I think I'm gonna just wax this thing up and take it out front. I don't see, I don't see any reason to delay. I'm going right into it. Let's just get right into it. Fucking hell. Oh my God. Slightly harder going, uh, going at it with some speed, but I think my box is long enough. Oh, I almost out of memory on the card. Dude, there are so many less variables just filming on the computer. Turns out my, sig my signature style of video was just me being fucking lazy. Oh man, I could have popped that bitch. If skateboarding is as mental, <laughs> you know, that's my favorite thing when pro skaters get interviewed and they're like, it's like 90% mental and 10% physical. Um, yeah, bro, totally. It's 90% mental. Really, skateboarding is 90% mental. All right, if it's 90% mental, I'm just gonna decide to do it right now. Use the power of my mind. Oh my God. 
they might be right. In case anyone wants a trick tip, like I said earlier, I'm basically like popping with my back foot like this. So right after I pop, it's pretty much like sitting right there. Oh my god, this is so fucking happening right now. I actually don't know if I should land this. This feels kind of wrong. Like finding out Chris Hansen is a pedophile. It's like you worked your entire career. You were fighting against these people. Now look, you're one of them. Oh my god! <sighs> Fuck, imagine if I did that on a street league hubba. You know what I hate actually about this trick? Is how much focus there is on the crook. Like you see Gustavo like staring at the ledge like he's being so certain that he gets into the crook right. I mean, and obviously so he can have his foot placement but it looks really lame. Like so whack. Like some sort of like ball retrieving dog staring at the ball. That's how he stares at the ledge. It looks so dumb. Okay. 90% mental. 90% mental. I wonder if I'd be able to do this easier if I wasn't in the midst of a dissociative episode. John Hill's already done this, hasn't he? Dude, there's no way you film yourself at Spawn Ranch parks every day, and you don't know how to crook nolly flip. Who fucking needs Spawn Ranch? Look at this thing. <laughs> Why would you ever go to one of those concrete prisons when you could be free in the front yard? You know what, I, I don't think I've ever seen Nigel do this. This is what I'm saying, like, I'm pretty sure Nigel's probably tried this before. Or no. Maybe he hasn't. There's no way he can't do this. He just like has the honor to not do it. Like this is a dishonorable trick. Oh! Nigel might be an alleged sex pest, but at least, at least he hasn't committed the uh, felonious offense of a uh, crook nolly flip. for this fucking ice cream truck <laughs> to not be here. <laughs> Thank you. That guy gave me a thumbs up. He has no idea the secrets that I'm hiding right now. Oh, holy hell. Bloody hell, Harry. I've got a mystical hard on right now, Harry. My wand is standing at attention. All right. Okay. So I cannot wait to have this one unlock. Can you imagine gifted hater showing up to your local and crook nolly flipping? <laughs> but I think it, it, this really is one of those things if I just take a lot of tricks, if I turn my brain off, it's just gonna happen. Oh. I have another theory, which is that when you try to learn how to like flip out of something, it makes the trick that you're flipping out of like the grind or the slide, it really gives you that shit on lock. Like, I'm not even thinking about this crook anymore. Oh, dude. I just waited one second too long. All right. Potion seller, enough of these games. I'll try a couple more, but technically, I believe that was a make. Oh, dude, you see the technique on me. Oh my, what the fuck was that? Dude, that'll fucking tear into my confidence nicely. Jesus. Yeah. I'm starting to stick. <sighs> Get some on the truck, too. What the? Please, 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 please. What? Oh my god. Oh, 
you kidding me? I can't walk away now. I'm just gonna have to do it really fast. I have to gap over the part that's fucking with me. Oh. Holy true grind to the max. That was the purest true grind there ever was. I mean, that wasn't beautiful, but that's, that's the trick. It just didn't really have that signature Gustavo flair that we all strive for. I thought this was going to be like a two to, two to three day like ordeal. And I know that doing it on this like tiny box in front of my house isn't like that epic, but I feel like my point is being proven. Oh my god. Some rippers, just literal high school shredders walk past. Wearing some like size 40 dickies. Tits. Oh my god, that was disgusting. You should be fucking killed for that. I might actually have to just set up a little iPhone angle of this. That's what John Hill does when he's like at the end of his vlog where he's like, he needs something to post. He sets up his iPhone on his second tripod at the skate park. His freaky like alien dildo iPhone tripod that I know he has. Please God, please. Hmm, I got too horny. We say five more, team. So I wrap this bullshit up. Oh, you know, I'm starting to see why Gustavo <laughs> like stares at it the way that he does because when I do that, it seems to like the more focused I am on the roll. This sounds asinine, but like the more I don't know. Maybe I'm just channeling him. I need to pretend to be him. That's what I need to fucking do. Pretend this is a Red Bull hat and not a fucking bullshit Jerry Sue cap. Oh God, I need a clean one. For this to be the epic own that it will be in my head, I have to roll away Steez. Oh, come the fuck on. Oh God. Dude, I tried this like all natural Arm & Hammer deodorant because I, it says no silver on it. I was like, I didn't know that I was putting silver on my armpits or aluminum or whatever the fuck it is. And then, dude, this shit doesn't work. It lasts like two hours. It says all day protection on the front of it. My ass, two hours of protection. And then almost it's like when you put on deodorant and then the deodorant wears off, Jesus, could I ask for a louder deodorant wears off? You're like twice as stinky afterwards. Like your body is angry for trying to suppress its pheromones. Oh, that was sick. The mic is on red. Let's finish this right now. What did we learn from this experience? I guess that I was right. Exactly what I thought would happen, happened. Which is that Gustavo Ribeiro is a fucking bullshit artist. And next thing you know, I'm gonna be fucking tray flip nose blunting every other try. Because I don't actually believe that he's good. I think that he just tries tricks that nobody else will. Because they're lame. <laughs>